This did not take long. Just six weeks after taking office, a state rep introduces a bill that is really stirring up the pot here in Milwaukee County. Yeah, this proposal would slash pay for county supervisors and shift power. Our Ben Handelman has some of the surprising names who are behind this idea. This is a problem that has existed for decades. It's a stack of papers newly elected state representative Joe Sanfilippo says will fix county government. Sanfilippo plans to introduce this bill that would change the job of Milwaukee County supervisor to part time slash pay in roughly half and give some of the board's power to the county executive. If the state statutes would have been properly defined in back in 1960 when they changed to an executive form of government here for the county, we wouldn't have these issues today. San Filippo says currently county department heads are taking orders from as many as 18 supervisors and the county executive. It causes a lot of chaos and disorganization, which in turn leads to just wasting money. The bill would make it clear the county executive's office has the lead role in the county Changes would also include reducing supervisors' terms from four years to two and eliminating their benefits and pensions. We had opportunities in the past, and in essence, we dropped the ball. Supervisor Mark Borkowski says it is clear change is needed on the board. He says he is not opposed that it could come from Madison. It took someone uh, from Madison to, in essence, light a fire under us. And so, um, you know, let's face it, we put ourselves in this position. Other supervisors say this is a power grab. It looks like we're putting more power in the executive branch. The more things that we're transferring to the executive branch, the less people have the opportunity uh, to have their voices heard and give input on contracts, give input on um, how county government is run. And if the bill passes in the end, it will be county citizens that decide what happens. The bill would be put the idea to a referendum and voters would decide whether they want the changes. And this bill has a surprising list of sponsors in Madison. They include arch rivals Democrat Lena Taylor and Republican Alberta Darling. San Filippo hopes to have the bill go up for a vote before summer. Guys. Thanks, Ben. We should point out San Filippo.